A man entered the Sikh temple in Oak Creek, Wisconsin. Six people were murdered, an incident of domestic terrorism. A gunman opened fire in a Sikh Gurdwara in Oak Creek, Wisconsin on a Sunday morning in 2012. It was the deadliest massacre of Sikhs on U.S. soil ever. Too many Americans don't remember Oak Creek, but we do. Not a day goes by when I don't think about that day. We remember the blood in the prayer hall, the bullet holes in the lunger hall, the spot where their mother bled to death, the wails of these children when they found their papa's body. The moment they told me, I realized I'll never see her again. You know what else we remember? Our elders rolled up their sleeves, sang our ancestors' prayers, and cleaned the Gurdwara with their own hands. We saw our elders rise. So we rose too. We organized vigils. We testified before Congress. I want to tell the gunman who took her away from me, you may have been full of hate, but my mother was full of love. She was an American. We made music and art and song. We fought to change federal policy. And we won. They haven't stopped killing us. Too many communities are targets for the white nationalist violence that keeps breaking our bones, stealing our breath. But we aren't victims. We are survivors. We are warriors and healers, teachers and poets, singers and visionaries. And we have something to show America about how to stand in love. The sick spirit of Jardadikala, ever rising joy, even in darkness, ever rising spirits. America, remember with us. Honor the ones we lost. Be brave with your grief. Harness your rage. Stand in love with us. Together, let's rise. <laughs>